Today, I'm looking at one of the coolest sporty four-door sedans you can buy, the Porsche Panamera. Now, this specific car is in incredible condition and is for sale in the LA area. If you're interested, check out the link in my description. I'm gonna go over all of the amazing features that make this car such an incredible buy, going over all of the styling, the cool engine, and the amazing interior. Starting with the look of this car, it's finished in an incredible special order sapphire blue. This car pops so well, and just as people are walking and driving by, everyone's looking at it because it just looks so good. The Porsche Panamera is really a jack of all traits. Not only do you have an amazing sporty Porsche, but you also have four seats and plenty of trunk space to carry anything you'd want. This car could absolutely pass for a brand new car, but in reality, it's over six years old. This Panamera is loaded with options and only has 22,000 miles, making it almost brand new. It certainly looks that way. I genuinely have never seen a cleaner 2018 model year car. Because this is a Porsche, we know two things. It has to look good, and it has to have performance. This car really has both. Not only is it finished in an incredible sapphire blue, but coming into the front, it really is, it has just a lot more aggression than your typical performance sedan. Coming in, you have a pretty cool black accent front splitter that I think goes so well against the sapphire blue. Of course, you have the iconic Porsche badge. Another thing which I really like how Porsche have sort of integrated this into the car are the eyes of the car, the headlights. They've done this cool thing where they actually have four distinctive points within the headlights. It makes it look almost like jewelry. And when you see this car at night or just the daytime running lights on, it looks super special compared to your average sedan. All of the trim of this car has really been blacked out to make it look a bit more mean and just really a lot better than having a ton of chrome accents. And another sort of design line, which I love that Porsche does, is the hood. Now you have a three liter turbo six cylinder under the hood, and they've made these little bulges with these little accent lines. And it does such a good job of just being, you know, a little bit aggressive and you can definitely see the bulge in the hood, but it's not obnoxious. It's not something that looks totally outlandish and doesn't look like it belongs. Following along from the design aspects of the hood, you have these amazing looking titanium wheels. Now these are an optional upgrade and I think really suit the sporty nature of this Panamera. Beyond that, you can tell this car was really taken care of because it has a Michelin PS4S tires, which is one of the best tires you can buy. These are not cheap, but if you really want the best quality, this is what you get. Now, this is a very highly specced Panamera, and with that, you get a ton of optional extras that you really don't see on most Panameras. First, the owner, Jay, was telling me that all of the accents right here were actually specially ordered from Porsche to be the body color. So they're blue instead of just, you know, a plastic, which I think goes a long way. Beyond just being a really nice and performance oriented Porsche, you actually have all of the creature comforts and luxury features of the top level of car. To name a few, you have keyless entry. So if the car is locked, you don't even need to take the key out of your pocket. You can just walk up to the door handle and it will unlock automatically. Additionally, this car actually has two sunroofs. So both the front seat passengers and the rear seat passengers have their own individual sunroofs. Beyond that, you have something which I really like and not that many cars have, are soft closed doors. So all four doors, if you just latch the door a little bit, it'll automatically pull in the door and make sure it's locked, which I just think is super cool. Even though this car is six years old, you really would not be able to tell at all. You have this amazing looking light bar that just blends in so well to the rear of the car. A really nice design feature of this car is the window line. Now you can just sort of see this swooping window line, which I think looks super, super clean and suits this car really well. And the rear end, all fits together very, very nicely. You have this fender that in person, it just looks extremely wide. You have this sort of concave and, and flowing line that does this Porsche a ton of justice. Uh, I really love the way that the wheels look off of this paint. And overall, you just have a really nicely packaged, 
sporty sedan. A cool feature with this car too is the active rear spoiler that actually comes up at I believe 40 miles an hour. This is just something that again makes the car feel a lot more sporty and definitely looks very very good. If I grab the key out of my pocket just with one click the rear hatch automatically opens up and you are brought into a ton of space. I really don't think there's a whole lot of sedans that have more room than this. And if you want, you can also fold down the seats and have a massive amount of storage. Popping the hood of the Panamera, you have a turbocharged 3 liter V6 making 333 horsepower. This is actually paired with a PDK dual clutch transmission, which is one of the best in the entire industry. So let's take a step in the Porsche Panamera and see how it looks. Right off the bat, you are met with a lot of quality that, you know, of course is gonna be familiar from Porsche. Something that I think is really cool about Porsche is you get a really nice steering wheel that is just bulky in all the right ways. It feels really good and is wrapped with leather. And it's actually almost identical to the steering wheels that still come in brand new Porsche today. Beyond that, you have paddles on each side that have a really nice feeling to them, allowing you to control that PDK transmission. Because this is a modern Porsche, you get the best of both worlds. You get an amazing looking analog tack and no, that check engine light is not real. It's just because I haven't started the car. But beyond that, on the left and right side, you actually have good looking digital screens that can do a ton of different things. If I just scroll down right here, you can actually have your nav taking up an entire screen. And beyond that, you just have loads of information that they'll give to you, which I think makes this one of the coolest driving experiences for a four-door sedan. If you know Porsche, you'll be familiar. And this car also carries the Sport Chrono dial right there, which gives you a great looking clock and really fits within the Porsche family. Now, I think Porsche have really done a great job sort of laying out this entire center stack if I just turn the ignition on, you actually have the air vents which open up right there and I think look really, really cool. Um, beyond that, you have an amazing looking screen that really does everything. Of course, uh, it's touchscreen and it allows you to do a ton of different things within the car. But if you want to go on a trip or you want to do anything, having a screen like this just to the right of where you are is really nice to have. Uh, like I said, you have these cool integrated air vents that don't actually appear like air vents when the car is off. And you have everything that you would expect in a really sporty vehicle. You have all of your, your heat seaters, your heat cooling, your air conditioning, and of course your drive selector. But something that I think is much appreciated more now than ever is having physical buttons for the stuff that you use all the time, the AC, the volume control. I think Porsche have just really done an excellent job packaging this entire car. Now this car is really a testament of sportiness and usability and the seats are exactly that. They have awesome bolstering that they really hold you in, but they're truly one of the most comfortable seats. You'd have no issue driving for three, four, five hours. And they have some cool accents right there. If you notice in the back, you actually get bucket seats in the back, which again, I think is just such a cool sporty thing. And you have some nice cup holders right here in the center, along with some great storage if you need it. Stepping into the back seat, you actually have a lot of space. This is my driving position being six foot two. And you can see that I still have a ton of space in the legroom area. You have some really nice looking vents right here to make sure that you are cool, as well as in the middle. And looking up at the driver's compartment, you just get that cockpit feeling. It's a really cool interior and place to be. Beyond that, you have some nice looking storage compartments right here. And again, I just think that you actually have bucket seats in the back is one of the coolest features for a sporty sedan. You actually have a really nice Bose sound system throughout the entire car. 
which makes the audio experience really good as well. Everything is packaged really well in the interior and you're just getting the best quality possible from Porsche. I love how all the light can come in through the various different sunroofs and overall it just feels like a lovely place to be. I want to thank Jay, the owner of this car, for allowing me to film his beautiful sapphire blue Porsche Panamera. If you are interested in this car, check out the link in my description. I really don't think there is a better deal for a Porsche Panamera that has all the options in the LA area. Thanks so much for watching.